back to the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John here with Jeremy today doing another fine guitar. I'm a big fan of these OMs, especially the Bedell OMs, and we're gonna talk all about this OM right now. Well, in just a second, actually. So we'll be Come right, right back up. with this. This is the Coffee House uh, OM. No cutaways, no, uh, this is a natural top. Actually, this was in an aged toner finish. Um, really, really cool guitar. And I have to be honest with you guys. Uh, Please do, I wish you were honest in all the videos. <laughs> okay. But this I, time. All right, this time I'm gonna do it. Uh, this, to me, Bedell makes the best OM in my opinion, for the most versatile OM out there. I think this is it. I think from your style of playing, you know, it fits what you look for in an OM. I, I would agree with that. So before we get into all the spe specs and details on this, again, we wanna thank you guys and encourage you to get part of our community by subscribing or liking this channel uh, or this video and, and getting involved in the comments. We like to hear what you guys think of all this stuff too. And obviously that continues to let us grow as a channel and get better bring and- Bring you more of this fun stuff. That's right. We'll do, bring, we'll bring you more cool things. So anyway, the uh, Coffee House series is a fantastic series, a affordable but yet upscale boutique guitar. Uh, and I think that's what Bedell excess, excels in, sorry, is an affordable boutique <coughs> guitar. Now, I'm gonna get flamed with, what do you consider affordable? When I say affordable, I'm not I'm talking, talking about a $500 build. guitars, I'm not talking $1,000 guitars. You're right, this is a US built, and boutique small batch, level, yeah. small batch, hand voiced, hand built all the way through. So in that sense, these are very affordable in the overall scheme yeah, of things. Yeah, if you're apples to apples comparing. So as a boutique, boutique builder, they uh, again are doing a hand voice. They use their tone matching system. They really do a good job. Now the big deal of Bedell versus Breedlove is traditional style guitars versus more progressive, modern, modern. Uh, style guitars. Uh, in that these are gonna be dovetail joints, these are going to be in traditional body shapes and uh, body specs, all that kind of good stuff. Wood selection is a little Wood more Wood selection, yeah, definitely. So the Coffee House series, in case you have never seen that, usually consists of an Adirondack spruce top, uh, rosewood sides and back, in this case, Indian rosewood, these Koa wood bindings, which look great. Um, they standard come in a inch and 11 and 16th nut width, uh, ebony board, ebony bridge, very traditional, very, you know, classic. Here's where I think it excels. We just did a review of a Dread just before we finished this filming of this particular one. I can honestly say there's a difference, but it is nowhere near as stark as it is with most OMs. You gotta realize that with an OM guitar, it's thinner here, it's much thinner here, Overall body small, everything is smaller more and about. more comfortable to, to play, yet with a Bedell voiced guitar, this sounds- It doesn't feel like it's lacking. Almost as big. This sounds bigger than uh, some Dreadnoughts I've played with more balance and more uh, you know intricacies. But man, I mean, this high end, I'm gonna Turn grab on, my yeah. pick here, is just- The low end is just huge. A lot of times in an OM, you get a little bit mid-rangey maybe, especially with a flat pick. Kind of chuffy mid-range, yeah. yeah. Well, this just seems very balanced and it can hold up to a flat pick without overdriving it. Yeah, I mean, I think the guitar player who's gonna be looking for a guitar like this is your, uh, you know, obviously you want a bigger than average OM, you want that comfortable. I really see this excelling with a person, uh, and I get this customer a lot, that's like, I love dreadnoughts. Man, my shoulder these days hates dreadnoughts. That's me all the time. <laughs> and, and I'm getting that way absolutely as well. But I think you could take this out on a stage and compete in a bluegrass band, in a band ensemble. You could strum this thing huge. And you could flat pick it. But you could also finger pick it. That's, I think, where 
compared to a dreadnought, it stands out as that finger picking, finger style guitar playing. I truly, you know, like I said, I, I don't like to get out of the limit and go, this is the greatest thing for this, but I do really it. do. I'm going to do, do it, it this time. <laughs> if I was looking for the most versatile, especially for a person that most of the time is using uh, a flat pick uh, and wanting an OM, the Bedell Coffee House is probably it. Um, if you're looking for something with more intricacies and you know details and articulation style. and all that, maybe something more in the bourgeois line or or somewhere you know uh, in in that world. But man, if you are wanting just to get a really comfortable guitar that just can tear down the house, uh, every single Bedell OM that we've ever had has fit that bill. And I, I got to say, I think. Uh we learned about their, their voicing and, and kind of measuring the resonant frequencies of the top and back years ago, but it really took getting a bunch of guitars in the shop just to see that I think they are consistently putting out some very responsive guitars, and it, it probably is with that matching. They've done a lot of research on what uh, resonant frequencies they want for top and back, and like Tom said, they're, they're, all, they're almost always different. You don't want the same resonant frequency on the back because they kind of cancel each other out. I think that has allowed them to get very consistent in putting out a a very responsive, like I said, OM and also the Dreadnought we just played was a, a monster. So uh, kudos to them for the science and sticking yeah. with it. it. It took us doing a little uh, research to make sure all the guitars we came through were consistently showing that. And I think it's, it, the proof is in the pudding. It uh, is if I can in coin the phrase. pudding right there. The proof, I don't know what kind of proof you put in pudding. I don't know. I, I think... don't know what that's all about. But anyway, it is a great sounding guitar. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. And uh, if you're looking for something a little bit bigger uh, in a small body guitar, you should look no further than uh, the Bedell Coffee House. We'll give you a little tone sample of it right now so you can see what you think of it. Have it, guys! Uh, a great sounding guitar, Jared. This fits your bill. Like I, I have lent much more towards that smaller body for a long time. I have a dreadnought, but it, I'm used to a mandolin, so reaching around all those dreadnoughts <laughs> is very tough. So yeah, I would absolutely be in love with this guitar. Um, if you guys want to hear a little bit more about that tone matching we spoke about earlier, we did fly up to uh, Bend, Oregon, and got a tour of the facility. They showed us a little bit of what they do there, and I think you guys will really enjoy it, especially if you're interested in Bedell or Breedlove. It was a lot of fun going up there, and uh, I think you guys enjoyed that video. There's a link for it right here, so make sure you click on that. And then uh, check back with us in this channel. We got, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and then push that bell down there so you'll be notified when we got new videos. Every week we release new uh, reviews, yep. uh, performances. And we're going to get some more cool stuff coming this year from Bedell uh, with exclusive guitars and, and cool stuff. So be following because you'll get to hear all about those if you are part of the community. So, yeah, check out that video, and we will see you next time.